Hello everyone, in this chapter we will learn about the subshader tags. The tags that define the rendering properties of a subshader are called as subshader tags and they are defined in subshader section. So this is the section of the subshader inside which we write passes and that is where we will write our tags. They will be enclosed inside the curly braces as well and that's where we will use the tag and equals to its property. And if we have to use multiple tags, we can continue that without using comma. So there is no comma in between. If the tags are written inside the subshader section, they are known as subshader tags. And if they are written inside pass section, they are called as pass tags. So these are subshader tags, these are pass tags. They are very similar to the variable scope as we define the variable inside the code section. Its scope is limited to that block of code. If a shader tag is defined inside subshader, that means it will affect all the passes that are written inside that subshader. And if it is defined inside a pass, in that case, it will only affect the pass inside which it is written. So that is what subshader or the pass tag is. Now we will take a look at three important tags that we will be using in our shader. First tag is Q. Second tag is ignore projector. And the third tag is render type. So let's begin with the first tag that is Q. In the previous chapter, we understood that there are render queues provided by Unity, which affects the order in which objects are rendered or drawn. And it is in the range from zero to 5,000. And there is a tag associated with every range of render orders, for example, from the range of 0 to 1499, there is a tag associated called as background. Similarly, there are tags such as geometry, alpha test, and transparent and overlay. In order to use these tags in our shaders, we will use Q, which will tell the renderer that this subshader or pass belongs to a certain render order, which is a number. So to associate the subshader or a tag to a specific render order, we will use Q, which will be enclosed inside single quotes or double quotes, equals to the tag that is associated with the range. For example, here we are using transparent. So transparent is equals to 3000. And we can increment or decrement this number by adding or subtracting a number inside a tag which will become 3000 to 1 render order this is what q tag means we use q tag to tell unity or renderer that this particular shader belongs to a certain render order if you want to take a look at the different subshader tags provided by unity you can go to sl subshader tags documentation i will include this url in the shader as well so that you can refer to this page and here are the details of different subshader tags and here is the one that we just discussed now the second tag is ignore projector unity provides a method of projecting materials onto the object by using projector Projector works in a similar way as video or image projector works in real life. That is, they project onto anything that comes in their range. Similarly, Unity Projectors has a frustrum and anything or any object in the scene that comes in that range gets the projection of a material. So, they are similar to the projectors that we see in our real life. If you go to a movie theater, it projects onto the screen. And if you are standing in that range, you will get the projection as well. And this portion will be dark on the screen. So Unity's projector works in a similar way as well. So these are the projectors and anything that comes in the frustrum. What is frustrum? Frustrum is a parameter function to stop the 